You've probably avoided cutting circles and curved quilting patterns in the past because the process has been so tedious. Well, that's about to change. Cutting circles and curved quilting patterns is easy with the one-step Olfa Rotary Circle Cutter. Let me show you how it works. There are three main parts to the Olfa Rotary Circle Cutter. The first is that it uses an 18 millimeter rotary blade, the same as our mini 18 millimeter rotary cutter. The rotary cutter does have a safety on it. Squeeze the black handles and pull up to expose the blade. Squeeze the black handles and push down to cover the blade with the safety. Please be careful that mini rotary blade is extremely sharp. The second part of the rotary circle cutter is the compass point. It has a cap on it for safety. Pull that off, set it over here to, for storage. This is how you adjust the size of the circle. Just a simple screw. The smallest is one and five eighths inch circle. The largest is eight and a half inch circle. The third part of the Olfa Rotary Circle Cutter is the ratchet handle. Very much like a ratchet wrench that you may have used in your home, this is really the secret to cutting a perfect circle every time. The Olfa Rotary Circle Cutter has a quick change blade system that's very easy to use. Let me show you how it works. Simply pull back on the blade lock. Holding the blade stem, you remove the old blade. Set it aside. Get your new blade out. Careful not to cut yourself. Place it on the blade stem. Back into the tool and lock. Be sure to dispose of your old blades in a safe manner. You're ready to go. It's just that easy. Now you're ready to cut circles. Always be sure to use an Olfa self-healing rotary mat in order to protect your surfaces whenever you're doing any rotary cutting. The first thing you need to do is determine the size of the circle that you'd like to cut. I usually use my rotary mat to help me measure. For a four inch circle, for example, you will need a two inch measurement on your rotary circle cutter. Remember, this is half the size of the desired circle. Place the rotary circle cutter on your fabric. Remember you don't need a stabilizer and only try to cut one or two layers of fabric at a time. Rotate, applying gentle downward pressure all the way around the circle, and it's just that easy. You see how you're using the ratchet to keep your hand in a comfortable position? Let me show you again. All the way around. If the fabric wants to creep as you see it doing, just keep going. Don't stop. For smaller circles, you may need to adjust your technique. Adjust the size of the circles using your compass point. Place the rotary cutter on your fabric. Rotate forward, ratchet back. Rotate forward, ratchet back. Notice this is a one-handed operation. Cut perfect circles every time.